Monica. It's a great little business you've got here. Can you tell us about the Whole Kids concept? Sure. So Whole Kids is Australia's largest range of certified organic allergen friendly snacks for kids, the proceeds of which are funding kids' health and environmental projects nationally. And what inspired you to leave the security of full-time employment to, to go it alone? I started to have a look at the food market and the more I looked, the more something really bothered me about it. A lot of the foods were being marketed as healthy and contained all sorts of additives and preservatives and so I decided that I thought I could make a difference and tackle the issue head on. You're in an incredibly competitive space in the health food and, and food category generally. How do you compete with the huge marketing budgets of big players? It means that we really have to think smarter and act differently and we're finding that uh, customers within our space are very passionate and they're also pretty savvy. So we work very closely with our customers to understand uh, what they're looking for and to innovate. How do you identify the next product to develop? Uh, so we run a series of focus groups with parents and children and we basically talk to them about what they're looking for, what their frustrations are but also with the children we've got to ensure that the products uh, have the right taste profiles. They really get concepts of health and they ask some really interesting questions. One little boy asked whether our sultanas were dried under factory lights or they were dried naturally by the sun. You know they came up with some amazing insights and they really understood that organic meant chemical free and they looked for things like nutritionals and no added sugar so uh, it's great fun working with the kids and trying to convey that personality because they're the consumer of the product. You've had some great successes getting on major airlines, supermarket shelves. Are there any common themes that have enabled you to win those big pitches? Uh, I think that uh, consumers are looking for healthier product and for one of our first big wins was with Qantas and we received a, a call from the head of special meals and she was getting a lot of complaints from parents about children climbing the walls mid-flight because they were eating sugar laden products and parents really weren't happy so there wasn't much of an alternative uh, but having said that we went up against some of the biggest brands in the world and we had to talk to them about how passionate we were and how we thought our business was very much aligned. We're an Australian business and that by providing uh, quality products, parents would really uh, appreciate that. As if you're not busy enough, you're a mother of a couple of kids as well. How do you manage your family life with the business? I learned early on that I needed to really separate the two and that if, as we were growing, if I was going to survive, I really needed to empower my team to give them the freedom and flexibility to unleash the true power of the business. So I simplified our business model. We set a really big vision for the company. So we have a big, hairy, audacious goal, or a BHAG, uh, and that's to achieve, um, to provide 50 million healthier choices for parents and kids by 2020 and to date we're tracking at about 15 million. It's just really mobilised my team so that they do have the freedom to make decisions and to run the business while I'm not here. Uh, and in doing that it's been really empowering not only for them but for myself because it's meant I've been able to step back into the business and to work a lot more on the business. So Monica, how have you gone about developing a brand that stands out from your competitors? So I think for us it's about being true to our values and what we stand for. We really wanted to show our personality behind the brand. So we've put myself and my daughter on our packaging because it really conveys that there is a face behind the brand and we are Australians and we love what we do, we're out there doing it and I think that sets us apart from the bigger guys. Who have been some of your most important partners that have helped you grow over the last 10 years? Well, some of our most important partners are our customers. But I think for us, uh, NAB has been a really important partner. Uh, they provide a great uh, awards program for women entrepreneurs. And they've also worked with us to help fund our business because uh, we threw everything into it. So we didn't have a lot of security at the time. So 10 years on from putting your house deposit on the line and, and throwing it all into the business, yep. what are some of your learnings for other entrepreneurs? Uh, I think it's really important to research what you're doing, like really understand the market. We are moving so fast, so we're doing in a quarter what some businesses do in two years. So that in itself requires me to just keep upskilling myself and learning. And I think in the long run, it's really important to have a solid vision for the brand, um, to set some really simple priorities and then to just go for it. It's a fantastic business story. Thanks a lot for sharing it with us. Thanks, Alex. This Entrepreneur in the Spotlight brought to you by NAB.